Today I'm going to show you a popular set of coasters that I sell really well usually. I just took some resin and I colored it with mica powder. The colors I chose today are a purple, kind of a lavender color, a pink, and a cream. I'm just going to go ahead and add the dark purple first. I know I have one square coaster, but I sell these individually. I don't sell them in sets at my craft mall, and that's where they're getting ready to go. So it doesn't really matter what shapes they are. And I'm doing the darker color first, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this pink color. There was some mica powder loose. I had to mix that in. I'm going to add it right on top of the purple. And it doesn't really matter in which way you pour it. It's kind of mixing together in the end anyway. And these circle coasters, those are pretty big, so they actually take quite a bit of resin to fill those up. Trying to get all the resin out of there. Next, I'm going to use, it's kind of a lavender color. It's a, it's a lighter purple. I'm going to pour it right on top of the pink. What this is going to do is it's going to mix together. It's going to make a really pretty color in the end. When you're working with resin, it's best to use gloves. You don't really want to get it on your skin. If you do happen to get it on your skin, use some rubbing alcohol to get it off. This big mixing cup I'm using right now, I get a set of those off Amazon and I love it because it already has the measurement lines on the cup. Now I'm going to take this cream pink and put it on top of the lavender color. And it has like a shiny factor, it's iridescent, cream pink. I'm not going to fill these coasters all the way full yet because this collar is just acting as my base collar. I'm going to be putting stuff on it and putting clear resin on top. So this, I would say halfway to maybe three fourths the way full, but it's best if you do it around halfway full of the collar. And now I'm just going to make a design in it. It's not going to stay this design because the resin will all settle in and do its own thing overnight. But I'm just kind of mixing it together to give it a more unique look. I want it to have some color dimensions on my base. And again, all the coasters don't have to look the same because I sell them individually, not in a set. I found that they sell better that way for me. I also love this jumbo popsicle stick I'm using here. It's great for mixing resin and doing bigger projects like this. Again, I'm really not making a design. I'm mostly mixing it into the coaster. And I took a lighter to it 
to pop the bubbles. And I let it cure overnight, around 24 hours. And now that it's dry, I'm going to be placing the things that'll make it beautiful, like these flowers. And I think this is the fun part because you can pick what you're going to put into your coaster. This is something, I found a pack of these on Amazon. There's all different types of shapes and there's leaves and butterflies and I thought this would make a pretty addition to the coasters. So I'm putting flowers and then I'm putting this metal butterfly. It's like a bronze butterfly in the middle of them. And leaves, the green is always a good addition. And again, the bottom resin has already dried, so it's a hard surface, and I'm placing these items on top of the hard resin. And see how they're all a little different, which I think is also fun. These flowers are very fragile, so be very careful when you're handling them, because you can break the petal off and it'll ruin the look of the flower. It's fun to use all different shapes and sizes. And then what you want to do is mix some more resin and just keep it clear and you're going to pour that on top of all of your coasters. That flower, I think it had a broken piece, so I exchanged it for a different one. Now I'm going to pour it on. Be careful not to overfill your coasters. This is going to do just go to the top rim of the coaster. And again, these circle coasters take quite a bit of resin. It used so much resin that I had to mix some more and continue pouring after that. Yeah, I didn't have enough for the square one at first. That was eight ounces, I was saying, for those three coasters, and it didn't even hit my square. You want to make sure you get all those bubbles out of there. And don't leave the flame on any surface for too long. Just lightly skim it over the top. You'll find that in the coasters, the bubbles like to migrate all to the middle. So you want to make sure you get all of those popped. Because if the bubbles go to the middle, it'll actually make the butterfly look strange in the middle. See how the flowers are starting to, they're floating to the top a little bit. You gently press them back down. And be careful how you're pressing them too, because you could make marks on the flower petals 
with especially if you have a sharper object. So you have to do it very gently. Very gently pat them all back down to the, the hard part of the resin. And then I would also encourage you, once you have put this clear resin on top, I would go back and I would probably 10 to 15 minutes later do a final check on your coasters and push them down one more time because that will ensure it'll be thicker then and it will ensure that those petals are going to stay down. I had to mix some more resin to put the clear on top of this coaster. I'm just going to repeat the process I did with the circle ones. See, they'll continually pop back up. And when you're pushing the flowers down, it will make more air bubbles. So you have to pop those again. If you have a big enough air bubble on the surface, it could actually cause a hole, a little hole that a little hole where the bubble was. So I overfilled it slightly. So all you have to do is get one of these droppers and suck up the excess resin and you're good to go. I use these for everything. It was going over the rim just slightly. I was trying not to make a mess. And you can see how the base color of the resin that we did the night before really turned out great. I love how all the colors mixed together. You can see the flowers are starting to pop back up again. That's why I say it's best to go back about 10 to 15 minutes later push it down for one final time when your resin's thicker and they should stay put. If you have a really light object, it's also hard to keep it from moving around in the resin too. You can see the air bubbles popping back up again. Now I've waited for one more day. I let the top resin cure and they turned out really, really cute. This is the back. You can actually use it front or back. So it's reversible. You can use it either way. Both are cute. That flower broke. Um, that was really sad. So I couldn't use this coaster to sell, but I could use it for personal use or um, even give it a, as a gift to like one of my family members. Look at this air bubble. I was so sad. It formed after, it formed overnight and it actually made a hole in the resin. And there's another one. They're still cute though. So if you have any of the rough edges like that, I actually take they're actually a seam ripper for a sewing machine, but I found they work perfectly to trim off the edges and you can also sand it um, 
using sand it with like water on your piece of sandpaper that'll work to polish it too um but just for small pieces if it's not major i just use these and it works great because you don't want any sharp edges on your coasters And that's me just checking to make sure there's no more sharp edges. They turned out very cute. And there's so many options you could make with these. So many colors and designs you could do. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, like, and like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.